Grand Rising, everybody, the Grand Rising out there. Grand freaking Rising. How's everybody doing out there today? I hope everybody's having a good, wonderful, tremendous Thursday today. So I would need for everybody to hit that like button, comment, drop a comment below, bottom of the video, hit that subscribe button if you are a new supporter. I need for you to share this video and turn your notifications on. So every time I upload a video, y'all will be the first one to notice. So anyways, enough of that. Let's get on with the topic. They want to compete with you. They want to compete with you so bad. And I finna tell you why people want to compete with you. This is why people want to compete with you. No matter how hard they try, you will win and they will lose. Ladies and gentlemen, listen up. A, a lot of people want to compete with you for, the, for a lot of reasons. Here's one of them. They see you going somewhere in life. They see that you have a purpose. They see that you're about to achieve greatness. They see it's a type of spirit inside of you they see that you are not like them. They see that you are cut from a different type of cloth. They notice that you are different. They notice you stick out like a sore thumb. And once they notice this about you, excuse me, they're going to try their hardest. <laughs> yeah, I mean their hardest to try to compete with you. And they ain't at the right there. Mm, excuse me. They ain't nothing right there but insecurity and weakness. Anytime somebody got anytime somebody got to compete with somebody, that lets you know right there, this person or these people are very insecure and they full of weakness. Cause tell me, who got in a who? Y'all y'all tell me this. Who in their right mind spend their 24 hours trying to compete with somebody and this person do not even give a damn about them? Y'all tell me that. I tell you what, I tell you, a loser, somebody that ain't got nothing going on with their life, that's the type of person that they are. Why would I spend my 24 hours trying to compete with somebody? Knowing I could spend my whole 24 hours studying, reading books, elevating, working on my my craft, my work. Putting more work into my own. Um, Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Why would I waste my whole 24 hours trying to compete with somebody? Or trying to compete with somebody that I barely don't even know? Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Who would do that? I tell you once again, a loser, a flat out stinking loser. And they're going to try to gain other people, go try to team up against you, try to compete with you as well. But let me tell y'all this, spiritual warriors, no matter how much the amount of people they try to get to compete with you or team up against you, let me tell y'all something. They are going to lose. And when they lose, they're going to be so embarrassed. Let me repeat that one more time. I don't care how many of the amount or they try to get other people to team up against you or try to compete with you, these people are going to lose. Because at the same time, you are focusing on your life. You focusing on getting to the top of that mountain. You are focusing on putting in the work. You are focusing when you go into that gym. You are focusing. You so dedicated to your success, to your greatness. You ain't got time to be worrying about what other people are doing. You don't care. You don't even care if they compete with you or not. As a matter of fact, you don't even know you're in a competition with these people. But these people, they want to compete with you so bad. Because they see you going somewhere in life. You elevating. You finna rise above these people. 
You are an eagle. You finna flap your wings and fly. But here they come with their insecure ways. Go try to shoot you down. They could try all their little wicked schemes and plans. They could pull some of the evilest tricks up their sleeve to try to stop you. But let me tell y'all something. Them weapons may form, but they will not prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, do you hear me? Do you understand where I'm coming from right doggone now? These people ain't got nothing to do with their life, but they sit there and try to compete with you. Losers competing with winners. That's all they doing. This match you in the basketball game, right? And you got 10 people or 5 people try to go against you. And you the only one on the court. 5 people going against you. 5 against 1. And they think they're going to outsmart you. They think that you... They think that they're going to beat you. But surprising... You gonna beat them. And all five of them people gonna be so embarrassed. It took one person that's to be five people. You know why? Because that person was focusing. They was focusing on you, but they were but you were focusing on the game. And this where people get messed up. You be so busy focusing on yourself and your craft. They so busy focusing on you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the whole time, they forget they got a life. They forget that they are breathing, sad as they may sound. They so busy focusing on your, they so busy focusing on your oxygen, your carbon dioxide. They so fo they so focus on your life. They can't even focus on their own selves. That ain't that pitiful. They will try their hardest. They will try to pull every scheme and tricks up their sleeve. But the more they try, the more exhausted they're going to get. And they're going to scratch themselves out trying to compete with you. Ladies and gentlemen, don't repay these people no mind. Let them try. They could try hard all they want to, but you still going to elevate above these doggone people. Notice, when somebody got to peep, try to compete with somebody, that lets you know right there, their life ain't nothing but misery and pain and bitter and envy and jealousy. No matter how hard these haters try to compete with you, ladies and gentlemen, spiritual warriors, star seeds, and chosen ones, to whoever out there watching this video, if you ever got people trying to compete with you, that's notice right there, this person is sad. And you above this person. You finna rise high above these people. You finna become an eagle and flap your wings and fly. And they stare down now at the ground like the little ant that they are. Like the little bugs that they are. You finna become a giant this year. And next year. And the year after that. And so on and so on. And these people gonna be like a little termite. At the ground, a little ant that's crawling. Compete. Competition is full of jealousy, envy, wheat, and insecure people. Now remember, when people try to compete with you for no reason, let's put this in your head and remind yourself, I must be doing something good. I must be that man. I must be that woman. Because if you ain't got nobody to compete with you, you ain't doing nothing right. But at the same time, you ain't even care about that. You're not trying to compete with other people. They're trying to compete with you. You're trying to compete with yourself in the mirror. It's you reverse you, not you reverse them. That's where they got the game all twisted. That's where they got the game all effed up. And these people finna F themselves up, trying to compete with you. They finna scratch themselves out. They finna drive themselves up that doggone wall. The more they try to compete with you, the more they're gonna drive themselves berserk. In the 
more they drive themselves crazy, the more they're going to stress themselves out. These people going to have grain scrapes on their hair, on their beard, you name it. Trying to keep up with you. I want to say it's funny, but at the same time, it is so sad. It is pitiful, ladies and gentlemen. It's pathetic. It is embarrassing. Why would you waste your whole 24 hours trying to compete with somebody that don't even care about you or don't give a damn about you? They put their hours into their work, into their craft. And what you putting your hours into? Focusing on the chosen one. Focusing on the spiritual warrior. Focusing on the star seed. Focusing on the leader. You are a leader to whoever watching this video. You are a leader. And don't you forget that. You are a winner. And anytime you got losers trying to compete with the winners, that's remind yourself once again, this loser, huh? this loser, these people, this person has already lost trying to compete with you. And no matter how hard they try, you will always get the victory in the end. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't let these people out here to scratch you. They could try all, they could try hard all they want to. They could try to copy you, talk like you, use the same slang, dress like you, and even try to smell like you. Yeah, it gets that deep, ladies and gentlemen. They could try to get the same perfume as you, same cologne, even same piercings. Yeah, it, it gets it get really deep. These people want to be just like you. This is why they try to compete with you. They got something to prove. You ain't got nothing to prove to these people, to these imbeciles, to these scumbags, to these scallywags. What's what, what's to prove, huh? Y'all tell me what's what's. I mean, what's going on here? What's to prove? Ain't nothing to prove. The only thing you're trying to prove that is you can make it to the top. That's what you're trying to prove, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what they got going on, but as we, we know what we competing for. We competing the man against the mirror. Ourselves. We trying to be better than we was yesterday. We ain't trying to be like we were was back in the past. We trying to become a better us. I'm trying to become a better me, a better guy. You trying to become a better guy as yourself, a better woman. We don't care how much they trying to compete with us. Because we know we always going to win. W-I-N, we are going to win regardless. They can try to copy us all they want. But let me tell you, dog, on something. You can try to copy somebody all you want to. But I get it, dog, going to tell you. You cannot copy that person's spirit. Amen. You can try to copy somebody all you want to. But God put a type of spirit inside of a person for a reason. Because that person sticks out. That person doesn't have to hang with the crowd. That's to be accepted or that's to feel accepted or that's to be cool. That person is good walking alone. Focusing on what God called them to do. That person, I'm talking about you, sir and ma'am. Y'all going to win. And these losers, well, hey, they already lost. Trying to compete with you. They feel powerless. Even that little stanked up funky crew, that little clip they try to get, that's the team against you. Guess what? They lost already. Now they ashamed. Now they embarrassed. They can't believe a one man, a one woman man like you, still warm. Still got your head on your shoulders, walking high with that on a Schwarzenegger type of strength. I'm talking about that Terminator type of confidence. Walking around, humbly.
that can't compete with you. You too strong. You too smart. You too slick. You too smooth. And also, you are blessed. You cannot compete with the blessed. Because we too stressed to be blessed. These people out here are stressed to the mental. They got a mental illness. They trying to compete with you. They trying their hard to beat you. But once again, you do not care about them. You compete against your own self. These people need to get a life. But I forgot they don't have one because they're so busy focusing on your life. They worse than TMZ themselves, spiritual warriors. They trying to see what you got going on. They like a little dog trying to sniff. <laughs> trying to see what you got cooking. Trying to see what you got going on. But let them keep on putting their nose in your business. They gonna wish like hell. They never smelt it. If you know what I mean. So let them keep on <laughs> sniffing. Let them keep on trying to be in other people's business. Let them keep right on. But in the meantime, y'all keep on focusing on y'all selves. Y'all keep on busy elevating. Excuse me. Y'all keep on putting in that work. Because when you got people try to, te try to um, team up against you, try to compete with you, that lets you know right there, you are doing something great. And God is finna bless you 10 times fold right in front of these, in front of these losers that are trying to compete with you. So let them have a little fun trying to compete with you. Let them try to study you all they want to. Because in the end, they're going to lose. And you will win. Y'all like this video? Y'all share this video? Subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what resonated with you. Because I'm pretty sure somebody out there that's watching this is going to do this. Got people trying to compete with them. Trying to put them down, bring them down. But let me tell you something before I close this video. Ladies and gentlemen, you are a eagle. Spread your wings and fly above these haters. I believe I can fly. All Kelly. You believe that you can fly, so fly above them. You ten times ahead of the game right now. They so far, but they so far behind. It's a crying shame. That's why they want to compete with you, trying to catch up with you. But let me tell you something. They can run all they want to, but trying to catch up with you, ha! <laughs> they can run out of breath. They can end up tying themselves out. They about to get that asthma pumping <laughs> because they got a long way to go. Try to try to get um try to catch up with you. They got a long way to go. A very far long way. You time you ten times head of the game right now. You started early. Them, they started wait, wait. Excuse me. They had started late. Real late. It's gonna take them months and years to try to get with you at. But little did they know, they already don't lost. Let them try hard, try to compete with you. They can try their hardest. I'm talking about their very, very hardest. They can get 10, 20, 30, 40, I don't care what that amount is. Try to team up against you. But let me tell you something. All of them is going to have the rude awakening of their lives. Because they're going to realize that you don't need a team behind you. You got God and the godly angels on your squad. And guess what? You still going to elevate and you still going to win in this season. So sure, let them think they, they can have a way with you. Let them think that they can have a chance. Let them think that. Poor little stinks, stinks. God bless them. You got to pray. You got to pray. For people like this. Because people like this are so miserable. They go out of their way trying to compete with you. I mean they go literally out the way. Trying to compete with you. And try to team up against you. 
But hey, let them try. Let them try. Because in the very end, you will get the victory. You will get that trophy. The trophy, excuse me. You will become the champion. And you will win in this very season. Don't you forget that, spiritual warriors. I'm out of here. I'll catch y'all in the next video.